Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this is awkward. Hi. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of a good way intro into this, and it's just not working. Boys and girls, what's up? It's your boy Clint Lund, Lund MX, and uh, this is not an MX. Don't click away from the video. Listen. So, this was a peer pressure buy. <laughs> I don't crumble under peer pressure often, but this one came with quite a bit of peer pressure, namely from my boss, Zach, over at Dirt Tricks. You see, Zach is quite the enduro guy, loves hard enduro. He's really, really good at it too. I hate hard enduro. I hate anything enduro. Um, I don't hate it, not my forte, not my cup of tea. I don't like it. Um, but anyways, he recently went out with his dad and bought two brand new 2023 Norden 901s and continue to persuade me and shame me and persuade me into buying one myself. So knowing to never back down from a challenge, I said, okay, Zach, I hear you. So we went out and bought a 2024 Norden Husqvarna 901 guys. So uh, I'm just going to come right out right now <laughs> and say, yes, it was a peer pressure buy. I'm retarded. And uh, I have my motorcycle license. I've ridden lots of different motorcycles over the years. I had an FC1. I have my dual sport. I have had several dual sports over the years. And I never really appealed to the whole adventure market. I thought they look stupid. The guys that ride them typically are dweebs. And... Um, it wasn't, wasn't my people, but let me tell you this, guys. So last week, the wife and I, we went down to uh, 395 Motorsports here in Carson City, Nevada, and we picked up this 2024 Norden 901 off the showroom floor. And let me say this before you guys say, well, Clint, you're a dirt bike guy. What the hell are you? It's a, it still is, no? It's kind of a dirt. It goes on the dirt, and it's a bike. You can ride it on the dirt and it's a bike. So it's kind of a dirt bike, even though it's not. I'm not gonna call it a dirt bike, it's an adventure bike, okay? But um, mostly because my friend Ryan would kill me if I called this a dirt bike. But, so yeah, um, no regrets though. This thing we've already taken and broken it in. It currently has a nice digital screen on it. I mean, this thing's a Cadillac. We got 340 miles, 340.6 miles on this thing. So it still is in its braking cycle. It's brand new. I put on the high fender up front already because I could not stand how dorky it looks with the low fender. Plus, I'm going to be taking this thing through mud. I'm going to be taking it through snow. And the last thing that I want is that front tire to pack up in between that small. Look at this. Look at the photo. See, that's the stock fender it comes on. It's stupid. It's so dorky. But they have some sort of, it does something for the arrow of the bike. I don't know. I don't care either. But going into some forms and stuff like that. If you ride in mud, it packs up and it will lock up that front wheel. So the first thing I did to the bike was put a high fender on it. It looks good. It looks more dirt bike-ish, you know? But today we got some packages. That's right. Let's get into it. So guys, after making such a wonderful decision in my life and financing a brand new 2024 Husqvarna 901 Norden, I reached out to our buddies over at Rocky Mountain. I said, listen, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, frankly, I'm lost. I need help. I need to get this thing dialed in for the adventures that I wanted to do. Namely, I want to go off in the mountains here, which we have a lot of, and I want to get lost and I want to put my wife on the back and go see the back roads of Nevada, California, Utah, Oregon, Oregon, Idaho. I want to do it all. I want to, I want to go see all the back roads. I want to see the back country 
and I want to be dialed in. So <laughs> it's it's open, but it's not. I haven't opened it yet. Okay, calm down. It is not opened yet. My wife, I think, slit the top to see who it was for, even though it said my name on it. But we're going to get into this right now. My dogs love that popping stuff, by the way. So, guys, when we reached out to me, said, "Listen, we're gonna be traveling. We're gonna be doing some things, and I need somewhere to put all my stuff." They said, "Lenimax, what are you doing?" We got you though. So they sent me the brand new pilot bags, I believe these are. Yep, the pilot bag system with racks for this thing. And we're gonna get these on. They also sent me some gear. So let's um yeah, let's let's get these things on though and see what it looks like and also try on my new adventure gear because I'm an adventurous guy, you know. And I like to go places and do things and see the world. So let's see what else we got here. All right, we got, ooh, MSR Adventure helmet. Gonna need that for adventuring. This would be MSR Explore Adventure pant. Gonna need that for adventuring. Bottle bag. For all the bottles and then we have another bottle bag for the other side we have the other oh this is a jacket explore adv jacket we got uh, some gloves these are the msr adv wind block gloves in gray we got some stuff to mount the yeah, some stuff to mount the bags. Some instructions, which I'm gonna need. It's one box. And these are the racks. So this is all, this is all racks. Because it's crash protection too, you know. These are the pannier racks, which I am gonna need instructions for. And it comes with Fantastic. Dude, this thing is gonna be racked out, boys. This thing's gonna be racked out. Replacement pannier mounts? What? They just, they know, they know it's possible that we might be going down at some point. So they wanna make sure that this bike's protected. All right, so we got gear. We got racks, we got pannier bags. We're we're getting dialed now, so let's let's get this stuff on and uh, see how she looks. But first, oh, what did I get, dog? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? My dog loves these. Oh, oh get him! Get him! Right here! Right! Right here! Ready? Oh yeah, you got it! You got it! Right here! Ready? All right, now uh, get. Oh, oh, you love these so much. These are your favorite part of Rocky Mountain, gives, gives me, huh? Here, you get plastic in your mouth? Oh, oh, get, get, get the bags, get the bags. Go, go, oh, never mind. I'm gonna get them. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's his favorite part. Trash pickup time. Trash pickup time. Trash pickup time. I get a little one. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Now, inside of your pannier bo box bags uh, uh, package, you're going to get some instructions. And let me just say this after taking a minute to read through it uh, this is going to be a, a breeze. And, um, it's, uh, it comes with all necessary hardware, mounting instructions, um, tells you what to remove and where to put it and what bolts you, I mean, this is sick. Uh, so good on you, Rocky Mountain with these uh, tusk panniers. I mean, this is, this is how you guys do it. 
So let's do the easy work and put them on. That's how you do that. Careful! And just like that guys, it's done. And let me just say, that was pretty easy. So on a scale of like one beer to 10, um, I give this like a, a two beer, okay? So the hardest part is going to be the exhaust side. If you guys are gonna be doing this modification, adding these uh, test pannier racks, I went with the soft bags. The hards, I've heard that if you catch like a stump or a tree or something, it's gonna be a bad day. So go with the soft in most cases. They also do have an optional uh, liner that they come with, a waterproof liner, um, but they're super sleek. I have a jacket in each right now for the wife and I uh, and a water bottle. So that's all that's in it. They can fit a lot more. This is not its limitation. And I have them all tied pretty tight right now. They all expand quite large. So you get quite a bit of clothes in there. But the hardest part guys literally was um, the foot peg mount for the passenger you got to take those off and then they give you some spacers to lower the uh, two up pegs but other than that it was so easy it took literal no time at all um, I'd say um, anyone with a general knowledge of mechanics like righty tighty lefty loosey can do this I don't think you need to take this to a shop or anything like that to get it done so um, I think we're just missing one thing <sighs> My brand new gear from MSR. So guys, let me just say this. The fit on this stuff is fantastic. Um, I definitely feel a lot more confident if I was ever to hit the pavement. Now let me say this. Some manufacturers of gear out there are going to sell extra things like elbow pads. These are integrated and they'll sell back plates as an extra thing. I'm not gonna name the manufacturers, but they'll add them extra. MSR. They come with everything straight out of the box. I did order one size up on my helmet. I was told to do that for not only for comfort, but this isn't a motocross fit. You also want to have room in your ear area for the two-way radios that I'm gonna be putting in here uh, for the wife and I. But uh, the stuff feels fantastic. Um, there's lots of venting to open up everywhere. So you can really open it up on the freeway and I can't wait to try this stuff out. It fits fantastic. It looks fantastic. It's built for the ride. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get on the road with this stuff because it feels very comfy. It's not constrictive at all. You got full range of motion without any tightening. Uh, so for reference guys, I'm a bigger guy. This is the XL jacket. Uh, with a 38 pant because I want to wear the pants over my pants like my jeans or shorts or whatever I'm wearing so when I get to my destination I can just take these off and have my shorts off or shorts on these are not 
the zip off type. They do have also the zip off type if you want to turn these into shorts. But I'd rather just take off the pants and have my shorts on underneath. So I got a size bigger and they do have straps right here on the side where you could take them in and bring them a little bit tighter. Uh, so I got 38 pants. I wear typically a 36 or 34 depending on the pant. So I went bigger and it, it actually worked out for me because these are quite a bit bigger and it, but they have enough adjustment though to get it down to fit me. So when you're getting gear, think big, not small. That's what's gonna work for you guys in the end, but I am totally stoked and ready to go for a ride. So let's freaking do it. That's wrong. So that's the same as last time. So guys, I must say, these pannier racks are super nice to have. They fit a lot in it. Don't let the sides deter you. So these straps adjust here and it allows the bag to expand a bit more. And then once you get everything in there, then you could cinch it tighter. Uh, I have a Sherpa jacket in each side, a water bottle, some camera equipment. So they do expand quite a bit more. But gosh, man, this bike's coming out awesome. The wife and I are gonna have some truly cool adventures on this thing. All right, guys, so this is my co-pilot in life. This is my wife for 20 years. You've seen her on some videos, but not in a long time. Um, she is absolutely the backbone of our family and me, and I think this is gonna be a really cool thing for us to do. And uh, like I said, we've already put about 350 miles on it together. Yeah. Yeah, 350 miles. <laughs> and. It's been a lot of fun, guys. So, like, your girls out there, if they're looking to get more involved with you guys and go do some adventuring and see some parts of the Americas where few have seen before, there's nothing better than getting an adventure bike, getting it all kitted out. And uh, we're looking forward to doing some cool stuff together. So you're going to see a lot more of her on the channel. Uh, I'm going to kind of integrate the ADV stuff into the moto stuff. So definitely make sure you guys are following and you're subscribed to the channel because we're going to go do some pretty cool stuff. We're going to test some camping equipment. We're going to do a lot of stuff and um, we got a pretty cool crew that's going to be going along with us. Are you excited? I'm super excited. It's yeah, gonna it's, it, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Um, but don't worry about the moto stuff, the moto builds, the bikes, the races. That's all still going to happen on this channel. This is just a new branch that's kind of being added to it. Kind of diversify the two wheel portfolio, if you will. And we're both pretty excited about it because it's something a little bit different than we've always done. What's your favorite part about it so far? I think it's just going to be really fun having like couple frenzies going with us and doing something. Like it's fun to go to the kids races or whatever and do all that. But I think it'll be really neat to do like coupley things. Plus yeah. you just see things different when you're on a bike. Yeah, exactly. So this is another great way too for couples to kind of get together and take trips together and, and uh, because it's not just about uh, the, the two kind of going off solo. It's, it's nice to have the groups going and we have a pretty good group going. And if you guys would like more information about the products used, I'll have a link down in the description to the Rocky Mountain uh, landing page. It supports the channel, guys. It supports what we do here. It keeps us to afford this passion. We'll call it a passion that uh, just keeps feeling we got to try new things and, and um, you know, spread our wings. And so if you use that link and you shop at the Rocky Mountain to either get yourself some brand new Tusk pannier racks, some brand new MSR gear, 
or whatever it is guys that get you out on the trail uh, we would greatly appreciate her and I and our family both so definitely consider subscribing liking the video so other people can see it and guys uh, we're gonna go kind of hop up into Hope Valley here it's a beautiful ride especially on a day like this and we're gonna just go see but I know it's gonna be gorgeous so this bike came out amazing thank you guys again so much for watching today we'll see you on the next one peace out <laughs>